There we go. Oh, I always, I always like to wait until it actually comes up on Twitch before I start talking, just to make sure I'm not talking to the void. Because Friday night's not talking to the void night. That's Thursdays. Ah, uh, anyway. <laughs> Oh, my name is Kevin. This is Dirty 20 Gaming. I certainly hope those of you out there can hear us. Uh, if you can't, please let us know in the chat. Uh, <laughs> apparently, there, we got ads and we got the ad for Picard. So I'm going to start by introducing these uh, the game, actually. I'm going to introduce the game first. We Tonight, we are playing a game, a probably pretty self-referential, self-explanatory game called Three Goblins in a Trench Coat. Uh, I feel like I have to because uh, Grant Howitt, the author of this, who thank you so much, Grant. I mean, just responding to my email, email was amazing. I appreciate the hell out of that. But he felt the need on his uh, actual document here to write up in the corner, not affiliated with the podcast, the OSR class, or the existing RPG that share its name. So I want to make sure that that is perfectly clear. Nobody sue me, please. I don't have any money. <laughs> That's the game. That's the designer, Grant Howitt. He's doing some really cool things socially right now. Let's just move on from that. Let's say that and move on. Let's start with uh, my friends. And I'm going to do them in a very specific order. I'm going to do them in the order of how long I've been gaming with them. So right below me here is a good friend of mine, Phil, uh, about, you're not going to believe this, buddy. I just figured this out the other day. We are about 22 months ago. So coming up on two years ago, you answered a uh, Roll20 ad that said, wanted new players, no experience. Please come play with me. And the second campaign and almost two years later, you're still here. So yep. thank you for that. That's been amazing. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a little lighter than our Wednesday night games. I can <laughs> guarantee it. Uh, second longest, I think twice now. Maybe this is third or fourth time. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, Wayward <laughs> Night. <laughs> third time? Okay. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you're uh, you're practically a regular now. <laughs> uh, considering I've I've only done like eight of these or nine of these, so you're yeah you're like my you're my uh, my guest my regular guest star. So <laughs> even oh with us through through now, <laughs> and then uh, the bravest person with us tonight never met any of us before, never streamed before, never used Zoom before, never played three goblins in a trench coat before, never met any of us before, and still showed up to play. So thank you very much, Leah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, no problem at all. I believe, I just want to check something quick here and make sure, oh, I didn't put our names up. Hang on. Uh, we just did the name, so, uh, ba boom Leah, which one are you again? Quickly remind me, because I can't see my screen right now. Grot, uh, G-R-O-T-T-L-E, Grottle. Grottle, 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 Grottle. There we go, you are Grottle. Uh, Wayward, you are, uh, whom he asked leadingly? You're not Crinch, I remember <laughs> Crinch, is the only one I remember. No, I am Crinch. You are cringe. cringe. You're yeah. cringe. Okay. Only one you remember. Huh? Only one I remember. <laughs> it's not, and I didn't even remember it for the right person. All right, and Phil is. That makes you uh, Snicklet. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is important, audience. Believe it or not, uh, because each of these goblins is a hardcore specialist in their field. Well, not really, but that's what they think. So, uh, this is why they have been sent on this mission, because the three of you are crammed inside one adult-sized trench coat and are attempting an audacious quest. You are attempting to rescue the captured goblin prince Fugwort after a disastrous battle. He was taken to a nearby castle where the cruel human army are going to interrogate him for information. Let me just jump in here. This is set in perfectly modern times. I'll explain in a second. The prince is being held in a castle on the outskirts of this town. 
Now, you guys are not some low-life, sewer-dwelling, living-off-the-dregs-of-people goblins. You are proper desert goblins. You are hard asses. <laughs> you know how to do this. You are tough, smart, and tough. <laughs> <laughs> You are now standing on a hill looking down, and there is an entire city behind this castle. But the castle itself is exactly that, although, to be honest, it looks kind of ratty, and it's a lot smaller than you thought. It's not much bigger than some of the houses in the suburbs, and it could really use a coat of paint. The grounds around it are full of little screamers, which is your name for children. There are a big, a few uh, big bellowers as well, that's the adults, who are chasing them around as they do. And there seems to be, there is definitely a way in. There's a 12-foot fence all the way around. You guys aren't getting over that. But there is a way in. The first area is what they, you've heard them call it before, it's a parking lot. But there are some trees, so you can sort of wobble in amongst the trees and get past that. You come to the first area. You need to get across the grounds. So let's let this rescue begin. Just to be clear, at the moment, we have Crinch as the head, uh, peeking out between the buttonholes so that you can control the arms a little bit. Uh, we have Snicklet and running the legs and pretty much blind because Snicklet's sitting on your head uh, is Grot, uh, Grottle. Uh, so the three of you are... Uh, let's just say you're not the only adult-sized person that's wobbling in this parking lot as you head towards this entrance. The first area, when you get to the fence and look over it, uh, of course... Uh, actually, give me... Let's do the very first roll of the game. I'm going to determine that this scene has a difficulty of three. For the viewers, they have to get three successes to finish this scene. It gets more interesting than that, but we'll talk about that when we get there. So when you get to the front, the first thing you have to do, of course, is see what's going on. So what would you like to do? Cringe, so you're can... the head. I yeah. could peek out through like a little hole right in the jacket. Absolutely, yep. Okay. That would be you're trying to do something that's adjacent to what you wanted to the position that you're in. So you'd actually roll two dice of whatever dice you have for head. You'd roll two of them and pick the lower one. I'll I'll leave you'd it. have disadvantage. I'll but, leave it to Crinch because yeah. they're the master. Hey, you know, Crinch is the is the face. I mean, Crinch is that's what <laughs> that's what Crinch does. So, Crinch, what would you like? Come to on, do? Crinch. <laughs> Just have a look, or what would what do you think? Yeah, Crinch, Crinch is gonna have a look and uh, assess the uh, situation here. Absolutely, give me a head roll as you use your brilliant gobliny sighting skills. That's the D ten, right? Yep. Okay. Was that uh, a three? Oh, okay, you hadn't rolled yet. Okay, that's a five. Okay, that is a success. So. This is where I get to show you this other mechanic. Uh, this is mostly for the viewers because I briefly showed these guys how this works. Every time there's a success in the game, we start a pile of dice over here. When you're playing this game in the real world, you start a physical pile of dice on the table. And every time there's a success, you pile another one on top of them. But these are D6s, D8s, and D10s. So it's incredibly unstable. And if at any point it gets knocked over... You fall out of the trench coat and have to either scatter to the four winds and try again, or try and reform, which almost guarantees that you will not be back in the spots you want to be in, and you will be a suboptimal three goblins in a trench coat. So, we have one success. You look over the fence and you see the layout. It's weird, because there's all these fake grass paths that bend and curve, and there's tiny buildings with holes in them that these green paths go through. And then there's concrete paths that go along beside them. And there's little flags and holes. And covering it all, dozens 
and dozens of little screamers, all running around with sticks. Two-handed weapons, apparently. Leather-wrapped handles, long metal shafts, and then a big weighted club at the end. Occasionally, they use these to hit small white balls, but most of the time they're chasing each other around with them, and the big bellowers are going, No, no, don't hit your brother! Um, so do these, do I see the, any of the, um, of the humans like using these paths to walk on? Yes. The adults, the, the big, the big bellowers are all walking on the concrete. The little screamers are all walking on the green stuff. And they're running back and forth and kicking balls. And there seems the big bellowers seem to be trying to impose order onto what is obviously complete chaos. But that's, you know, that's what human adults do. They're weird. Okay. So, um. And you guys kind of peek out through the jacket and can see at least a rough idea of what, what she just saw. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'd like to um, avoid as much uh, confrontation as possible. Yep. Because uh, me no likey. Um, yeah. <laughs> as you're standing there <laughs> gathering information, there's a spang, and you look, and there's a little uh, a little fella. He only comes up to about your waist, and he has hit. He's got the the club in front of him, and he has run into the fence at full speed, right at your waist. Just bang. If the fence hadn't have been there, he would have run right into your hip, which is pretty much uh, Snicklet's ear. Did he chop the club, <laughs> or is he still holding it? No, he's still holding it. He's on the other side, and you can you can see when you look out through the gap, his little knuckles are all bloodied up because he ran right into the chain link fence with his knuckles. <laughs> this this is that crazy kid that everybody knew, like the one that used to you know just nuts, right? He, this is that kid. You met him right away. And he's just on the other side of the fence going bang, 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 with his golf club that you don't know that's what it's called. Um, yikes. There is a gate just off to one side, and there is a clear concrete path that wends its way through the mayhem. There's no straight line getting anywhere here. Uh, Crinch is going to say, um, did you say that it was... What what is it off to like the right or the left? Uh, it, it's it, it's straight ahead. Of you. Whatever you need. This is okay. the, no technical questions. It's Fun Shot Friday. Where do you want it to be? <laughs> <laughs> That's the, that is the okay. only answer. Where, where do you want it to be? So um, just don't cringe, make it too easy, and I won't stop you. Cringe whispers to to Grottle, um Move forward to gate. <laughs> Okay. Towards the gate. Yep. You get to the gate easy. And I shuffle yeah. forward. <laughs> yep. And you are heading forward. You get through the gate and you can see this the sidewalk that you're on, but that's about all you can see because you've got two of them, like one's on your shoulders and one's on their shoulders, and you're kind of the jacket keeps mm. flapping in front of your face. You can basically see your feet and a little bit. So you're heading forward and heading forward, waiting for someone to tell you to stop. Cringe is like Whoa. Yeah. Uh, Snicklet, Snicklet, the Daddy. second you step through the gate, you see uh, down the sleeve, because you've got your arms up, but they're big sleeves, so you can look down the sleeve too. You see that kid with the club turn around and he spins it in his hand like a samurai preparing his sword. It's just. Can I try to steal it out of his grasp? You absolutely big, can try and grab it out of his muscles. Head. Yep. <laughs> Give me an arms roll. Ten. A five. That is a success. I only did six-sided dice here. Pardon me. Uh, but, oops, there we go. I wanted to get sixes, eight, and, and ten, but then I couldn't be bothered. So, <laughs> so now, now, but visually, think that's two ten-sided dice already piled up on each other down there. They're very, very wobbly. 
but not really. Give me a hit that do the dice fall. So every time from now on, when you do an action, oh, you need to hit do the dice fall. If you roll less than that number, the dice fall over and you guys scatter. That was that was almost a thing. 90, you had no problem. <laughs> you have <laughs> not falling at all. In fact, you guys are flowing. Uh, you, you continue <laughs> to... Uh, Grottling, you continue to walk forward. Uh, you feel a sort of after one sight, and then it comes back. Uh, Crinch, you're already looking ahead, like trying to see. Uh, that you go basically like put one foot on the head of the person below you and go straight sideways and put the other foot up and hold like the butt of the person above you, and your body and arms goes down the sleeve, and your head and arms come out and reach across and go, Give me, boom. And right back up the sleeve. So when you're done, you're back in your spot. You've got the handle. And instead of that arm, there's now a golf putter sticking out of that side of the jacket. So it's like stealing candy from a baby. Yeah, almost literally. Speaking of which, uh, you called them little screamers for a reason. This kid loses it. Starts pounding <laughs> on the side of the trench coat, which is mostly going to be Snicklet and Grottle. Just beating, it's in my club! It's in my club! Dad! Daddy! It's in my club! It's in my club! Cringe is going to see this pace a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? What, what was that? Cheese it, you're right! Give me a legs, Grottle. As yeah. you blindly just looking down, going, okay, follow the path, follow the path, follow the path. That's another success. <laughs> so, pick up the base, pick up the base, pick up the base. <laughs> here's how this works we give you the success, and now you have to roll a seeing while well, putting that die on the pile, knock the pile over. So, hit the do the dice fall. No, they do not. And you guys, <laughs> at that moment, you blow through this crowd of kids and it's like somebody yelled fight 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 all the little screamers are heading towards that screaming little boy and then all the big the big bellowers are following in a slower circle afterwards kind of half hurting and half trying to get to the scene of the crime and as you look back over your shoulder uh Grinch, you see the little one that, uh, that did this, the one that started all this. A couple of the other kids get to him first, kind of look around and start beating the shit out of them with their golf clubs. He's been a little turd all day. They are getting their revenge. By the time the parents get there, that's what they think has happened. And there is a huge row going on around the big bellowers. They're screaming at each other and pulling kids off the pile. And my kids and your kids. No, that's actually one of mine. And, you know, just. <laughs> and in the mayhem, you guys cruise past the mini golf course and survive the first of the challenges. Little bellowers make good distractions. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. <laughs> Dreamers, even. <laughs> you step off the end of the track uh, of this pathway, and there's this little fence off to one side, and there's a big gate, like a kiosk on the other side, that's blocked. And that's where all the people are going the big ones and the little ones. But there's this little sort of gap in the fence. That it, you could, if you came out for a second out of the clothes and crossed under, you could get back into them and stand back up on the other side. I won't even make you re-roll for position. You could do that. I see. Or you can try and walk through. through. What was the other yeah. option? The other option is try to walk through the, basically walk through the front door of this kiosk. I have people a <laughs> No, we are pretty convincing. So I think we could walk through the front door. Pull means no need talk. <laughs> Just walk. <laughs> Grunt. They don't care. <laughs> so, I which guess way are I we going? do what you do. Get Just run at so them. You... They don't care. <laughs> so you head towards the kiosk. Uh, you get to the uh, the gate, and there's two people, like two big, big bellowers, and you don't understand what they're saying really, but one of them hands you a helmet 
that's much too large. And they, it says something, and when you don't react, he just points at your head, you pull it on, and the, like the chin strap's way down here, even done up, but you know, your ears, one of your ears sticks out by the eye, because <laughs> he didn't get it tucked in right, you have to poke it back in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the other one uh, points uh, at this uh, tiny car. There's a whole row of them. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and in the back of each one of them, there's a noisy little box going... Oh, Lord. <laughs> and okay, he, the, guy, no the guy points at the front one. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a go-kart. <laughs> you guys have climbed into a go-kart. You have been strapped into a go-kart. So luckily you were in the right positions because there is no changing until this go-kart ride is over now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they walk around behind you as they do and you hear clunk and the little cart that you're in goes <laughs> and you kind of know people. how this works. So, uh, Critch, you're like looking out of the helmet. You can only see like this much because it keeps falling down over your eyes. Uh, below you, you're sitting on uh, Snicklet's shoulders. He's got his hands out. Golf club across his shoulders now. You're sitting on that. And he's got his hands out the arms. He had to pull up the jacket. I'll do and one And he's arm. holding the steering wheel, but he can't I'll do sell. one arm on the steering wheel and one arm oh. have the club. No, 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 no. no. You're, you're jousting with the with the golf club? Yes. Please, please tell me you're jousting yes, with the golf I club. Am. Yes, okay. Steering with one hand, jousting with the golf club. And down at the bottom, unable to see anything. There's two big pedals in front of you. You kind of push one, the thing lurches forward. You push the other one, it stops. Ah, I hit the one that makes it go. <laughs> Off you go. You guys are in a race. <laughs> this, was, this wasn't going to happen. I just made this up. Let's figure out how to do a go-kart race in this game. Uh, each round, first of all, to win this is going to be quite difficult to succeed. Let's call it... <laughs> Uh, you better one, two, steer three, four, good. Five. Let's make it a five. Let's make <laughs> it a five. Well, well, I'll give you guys a break. We'll make it a five difficulty. So you need five successes between the three of you to win this race. Crinch's eyes are huge. Oh, yeah. You're just... <laughs> and, it, and it just takes off. This thing just takes off. And you're yelling instructions, left, right, left, right. Some goblins aren't very good with directions because you're goblins and you're tough and smart and tough. Not smart and tough and smart. So it's not so good. Let's start this cascade at the top. Turning, Critch, turning. Before you can give any directions, you have to pull the helmet up and see what you can see. So give me a head roll to see what you can see. These first couple are going to be easy. That's a 10. That is a success. So you uh, pull it up just in time to see that you need to go left right now. Turning You're not left. very good with directions. What do you do? Um... Uh, You're standing on his shoulders, and you want him I, to go that way. Uh, I kick his shoulder um, to in the direction that the wheel. Yeah, you kind like, you kind of steer yeah. him with your shoulders. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that works. Uh, <laughs> so you get those instructions because the jacket's closed over you. You can't see squat. You got your sword, your lance in the couched position. You are prepared for anything. The bursts forward and she starts pressing down on your left shoulder. You go to turn left. Give me a arms check. But I want you, because you're only using one arm, I want you to do this at disadvantage. You got it. So roll the twice and take the lower one. That's a six. That is also a six. <laughs> Those are both successes. Roll me a did they fall? Every action. Oh, shit. Ooh, ten. That's close. That's close. <laughs> so you, uh, yeah, you crank it to the left and you hear it. Because you went too far left, and now you're dragging along the barrier on the inside of the track. But they're used to it. There's no paint on the, either side of these cars anyway. Down at the bottom, you start to slow down because you're dragging against the wall. What do you do to try and speed up this process? I keep pushing the go pedal. <laughs> so, I mean, these guys are kind of strapped to the seat. So if you, you can sort of bend over and put your hands on it and just sort of just 
like all I four. Push to the just, floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just give it a shove. So give me a legs roll then, please. That is a success. You got it. Give me a roll now. Uh, do the dice fall? They do not. You guys are still good. So into the first corner, vroom, a couple more corners. There's a guy pulls up on the inside of you trying to pass. Oh, Cringe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to yep. stick it out as like a clothesline. Yep. And, and I'm going to tell uh, the legs to break. Okay. Oh, break. Okay. Yep. So yeah, you're, they're coming up beside you. All of a sudden, the golf club comes out and he yells, <laughs> "Breaks!" Uh, cringe. What are you doing? I'm um, gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna get Phil to roll for that. But uh, oh, sorry, Grottle or yeah, uh, Snicklet to roll for that. Jousting. Cringe is going to um, just in a full like. What's the word? That's it's 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 right below panic. <laughs> um, that distress. works for me. Yeah, just before panic. In, in a sort uh, of. A, it depends on the video panic. game usually, because those are usually statuses that are applied in video games. <laughs> <laughs> um, in that kind of manner, she's going yeah. to be looking to see what is coming up, and like, like what, uh, what, um. Snick Snicklet might possibly uh try to hit. Yep. <laughs> and maybe, Absolutely. Like, steer him away from it. <laughs> so Snicklet. Boom. Give me a roll. I gotta get you guys out of your spot. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um Grottle, give me a uh give me a legs roll. He told you to slam on the brakes. Oh, oh. No. Crinch. I my weight that much. Crinch, before you roll, <laughs> before you roll, Crinch, I do not need you to make a head roll. I need you to make a body roll. Which is roll whatever your body is twice and take the lower one. What would my body be again? Uh, it should arms. be on your character sheet. Your arms, oh. sorry. Arms. Yeah. Head, arms, legs, okay. sorry. Arms. Wrong yeah. game system. I play too many game systems. <laughs> Arms twice. <laughs> twice, yeah. And then pick the lowest. Well, that's already a fail. Those are all fails. All of them. See, the thing is, fails do not knock over the dice tower. They just mean you didn't accomplish what you intended. So what happened was... Snicklet went, Hah! And it went further than he thought, and it went in the fence. So it's the... Like like a like spokes like a a a broom handle and the spokes this thing you just started to rotate, you hit the brakes just as it gets to the fence, which snaps the fence and pushes the barrier out of the way. <laughs> you are now heading off the track into the next part of the uh, adventure <laughs> playland in a go kart at speed. <laughs> Except for Crinch, who did not manage to hang on. What you did manage to do was pull your arms and legs inside the helmet. So you are now a helmet bowling down. You're still on the track. Bowling down the track with cars whizzing past you. Boom, boom, boom. I'm screaming and cursing in God. <laughs> and, and the go-kart is being driven by a headless trench coat. <laughs> um, Nicklet! I need to, to. You guys still aren't done. Uh, you haven't officially fallen apart yet, uh, but you you are definitely separated. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Snicklet and Grottle because uh, Cringe, at the very least, is dizzy right now. You have just gone <laughs> down the road at like 25 miles an hour, so you're probably throwing up a little bit in that helmet, the rented helmet. Uh, the other two of you, you are through the wall, heading back to through the golf, like the mini golf, heading for the parking lot at high speed, because you fall, you fell off the brake after you, you went through the fence. So what are the two of, and neither one of you can really see where you're going. So what are you doing? Uh, I'm looking up at Snicklet and saying, huh? I'm gonna <laughs> look down and just sitting go. on the gas pedal. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> are you gonna try and steer them or try and steer back in? Uh, I'm just gonna turn it randomly, see where it goes. Okay. Well, here's here's a question. Uh, you are about to lose your lance because it's stuck in the fence. So, are you gonna save it or are you gonna steer? I'm gonna save it. Okay. So you just I'm let go of the steering the wheel and grab your lance. Perfect. And you jumped on the gas. Perfect. Both of you and give me I'm a roll. I'm sitting on the gas. Yeah. So. Yeah. Both of you give me a roll. Yeah. It just like. <sighs> <laughs> that is a success. <laughs> I'm going fast. <laughs> was that uh, was that your lot? Uh, that eight was that yours, Phil? Mm-hmm. So you guys both succeeded. Excellent. So. Oops, that's not the right one. Hang on. Wrong token. That one. When it gets to there, uh, Snicklet, you uh, you let go of the steering wheel and grab the, the, the putter. The head of the putter is hooked on this pole, and you just whoop all the way around the pole, like just whip all the way around the pole as you're holding on. You know, like when you were, uh, <laughs> you know those spinny things they have in the playgrounds? And you have mm-hmm. all your buddies try to spin it and to see if you can fly off. You're doing that on the end of this thing, just holding on and your hands are sliding down the handle of the putter as you're going around and around and around in circles. And you finally turn your hands and unhook it from the post. And yes. because, I mean, you rolled you rolled exceptionally well right back onto the track. And you look like you look down past your body and there's the uh, all the way down one leg is Grottle just sitting on the throttle. And you get past everybody because you just wound up like a slingshot and as you whistle (laughs) up um oh lord uh oh we need to do a did did you fail so that was that was uh we need two did you fails because if this worked you guys get out of here so i need one at 35 percent if you guys get both of these you're gone i'll take the 35 so you take the first one yeah you did the first one that's a six okay cringe don't think I need a roll no no we don't I'm gonna take all these away so those are all gone uh you um I I lied what that's what you thought was gonna happen but you lost your grip and got sucked out the sleeve so at the moment Snicklet is actually still belligerently with goblin toughness holding on to the putter as it goes around the post. Uh, gr- Grottle, you find yourself sitting on it, facing backwards, going that way, passing everybody, <laughs> looking out the like the the leg of this on this jacket just because the flaps are flapping in the wind and they're all looking at you like how'd you go so fast there's a thumping sound you look up and a helmet goes punk back on the top there's nobody between the two of you but <laughs> cringe is back in the top although uh from the sounds of things you probably don't want to go in there for a minute <laughs> <clears throat> but at the moment it is yeah it is not going full speed with nobody steering it and off to the side, uh, you have a windmill as a third member of your party off on the side, spinning in circles. So the two that are on the cart, you now have to recover. I'm only going to make this a difficulty three, but you have to recover uh, your arms. So neither one of you is in the right position to steer. So either one of you can try and steer but it will be at disadvantage. So whatever your arms number is, and the best arms happens to not be here. Uh, he's, using, will... he's using the pipes to just hold on while he's spinning. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand up and try and steer. Okay. I wonder what these do. Uh, so give me, a, yeah, give me a double arms. Oh, mercy. That's a success. That's not. <laughs> I tried. Uh, from up above, uh, this car is now starting to spin, and it's not making you feel any better than you did when you were rolling down the road. Would you nope. like to gain control? 
This this god this shaky pale goblin paw comes out the visor of the helmet reaches for the steering wheel. <laughs> Give us Your double turn. hand. Oh no no that's not good that's not good. No, I'm not even gonna do a second one. <laughs> okay, yeah you can't get any worse. Um, so we both you guys. <laughs> It's a, it's a, uh, I'm luckily, blinded by my own view. Oh yeah. It's nasty. The <laughs> visor won't come up. The chin strap won't let you out. It's tied around one leg. It's, uh, it's riding up. It's, it's, it's all kinds of uncomfortable. Chris <laughs> is having the worst day. Well, it gets worse I'm because the, 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 the whole cart spins around. <laughs> yeah. And starts heading back into traffic. So these people are going past like, what are you doing? You're nuts. You're crazy. Ah! Going Chris past you like, guys. This was nothing job description. <laughs> <laughs> you guys crash through Snicklet, who just grabs on with a hand uh, and gets keeps his golf club because he's absolutely convinced this is important and gets back on the cart as you guys smash into the wall of the castle. It's like... It's a castle. But you go through it just like through the wall. It's really shitty gyprock painted to look like a castle. And you guys go through the wall and sort of drop about eight feet and into this pile of dust and you're in the darkness. But it doesn't last for long because the first thing you notice is there's a mist down here. This whole basement that you're in is full of mist. And then these beams of light, red and green, blue, just all over the place around you. It's the only source of light down here, except every once in a while the strobe light goes off. <laughs> and you see what looks more like, almost like what you saw outside, with all the kids and the sticks and the balls. But this is smaller, and it's indoors, and there's all these lights and loud music. The other weird part with this particular bit is it's neither Little Screamers nor is it Big Bellowers. It's that weird group in the middle, the Gigglers. <laughs> we would call them teenagers. <laughs> this is Laser Mini Golf in the basement oh, that you guys have crashed into. <laughs> laser and you now need to get through here. Uh, who said that up? Yeah. All right, let's reform. So yes, you guys yeah. crash to the ground at the bottom. You have scattered, but you are in a corner and no one can see you. So you can reform in the proper order if you wish. I assume you will. Right. <laughs> Grinch has only heard about gigglers. Never <laughs> seen before. Cut up the lights. <laughs> Throw the helmet back Please. up the hole in the wall. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> she just she just yeets the helmet off. Like bye. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you're goblins, so it's not as bad as it would hair. be. But... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try to avoid the lights as I get yep. before. Okay. So just yep. be on the that makes sense. I don't know what they can do. Absolutely. Yeah. So you guys form up and take your time and get one on top of the other. Um, can I find a light and try to like like wrench it away to as you like a like a giggler defense laser you can certainly try uh as uh so have a look around so give me a head roll okay that's oh. a success all right <laughs> so there you go and you don't have to roll because it's impossible to knock over one die you can move it but you can't knock it over it's not possible uh so uh you um look around and see that these are just little boxes they're on sort of spindles and they move around there's a wire that comes out of the back and goes into the ground okay um it's a one shot it'll work <laughs> <laughs> i'm just um i'm going to uh tell um snicklet to um, grab box of light and give. I grab box light and give. Yep, give it a, give it a haul. Give me a D10. You, you guys are rolling. Wait, I gotta need to knock you guys over at some point. And eight, that's a success. There we go. And roll, do the dice fall. There's only a 5% chance. Because I'm nice. Can you imagine playing this game with a bunch of drunk friends, though? Like, how easy it would be to knock over these dice on the table in the real world? <laughs> You're good. So, 
uh, you grab this thing and pull the little brace that it's on just pulls up breaks easily. You are strong. You just held onto a putter at Mach 9. You're fine. <laughs> you pull it out and the wire just keeps coming. Like no matter how much you pull, it just keeps coming out of the floor. <laughs> then you aim it around and yippee, ping, ping. Uh, uh, Crinch, you do notice uh, you're the only one that's suggested ripping one out of the floor, but some of the gigglers are using shiny things to reflect the light at each other and trying to get it in each other's eyes. And when they do, they giggle. They find it terribly funny when the other one goes, ah, ah. They're also hitting each other with the sticks and laughing okay. at that too. They think that's hysterically funny as well. Um, I'm going to, um, use, uh, this is strictly for defense, yep. uh, because cringe does not like confrontation. Yeah. And, um, uh, cringe, I think, uh, thinks that if she's, uh, uh, gonna find, like, this whole place seems kind of magic. And yep. like she doesn't she doesn't understand how the light is coming out of the box. Yes. Just that the light is coming out of yes. the box. Yep. So um she's going to um look around to see if there's like a wizard who's controlling these light boxes. Okay. Mm. You mentioned it. So uh you uh look around and in one corner of this area there's another there's another little door and you don't read people but there's a sign above the door that you know what that sign means that sign means bar okay um like a drink bar yeah there's a bar in the corner of this of this floor yes downstairs okay um I'd like to direct the legs towards the bar. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, so the legs start heading towards the bar. Um, sure, let's do, let's just, let's just pile on here. Uh, as you guys are heading across the room, um, Snicklet, you look out uh, through the jacket and in amongst the laser beams and the flashing lights, they're on one of these weird fake grass roads that all these gigglers are knocking balls around on. There's a knight in full shining plastic armor standing with his legs spread and they're putting balls. Be they're knocking these little white balls between his legs and you don't understand why he's not killing them as he's doing it, but... I'm going to there direct the legs towards the knight. Okay. Legs, you have received contradictory instructions. Yes. And uh, I think I have engaged all three of you. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> <okay>. <laughs> um, bar. <Okay. laughs> he ignores night and goes bar. I'm going to jump out of the bar. Okay, I just took the pile of dice apart because you guys could hear this coming. So you guys are, you say, you're like, go to the bar. You're like, go to the night. And she starts to go to the bar and you're just like, nope, out. And just the middle of the trench coat collapses and pff, you guys are now shattered on the ground. You are scattered. So would you Darn like it. to reform or would you like to yes. just take off on your own? Okay, so the two of you are going to reform. Snicklet is gone. Golf club in hand, out Snickle into the laser no. light show. <laughs> Lasers glinting off his his knightly weapon as he charges forth. Ah, uh, what are the two of you doing back in the trench coat? You're heading to the bar, right? Or are yeah. you yeah. gonna keep going? Okay. Is there um? Do I see you the bar wizard? You uh, well, here's the. Here's the thing, you, you get reform. to the door, you get to the door of the bar, you've kind of reformed. You have you have two parts. So you look like a very tiny person in a trench coat. Like a child trying to get into the bar, right? You know, you're only like four feet tall between the two of you. 
You come wobbling in, the trench coat's three feet behind you. It's filthy by this point. It's been in a car wreck. It's had three goblins in it for most of a day. There was ill, you know, this is not good. It was sick in it. Yep, yeah. Luckily, this is a really seedy bar. Uh, you guys walk through the door, and it's it's weird because there's, first of all, there's little screamers everywhere in the bar, which even you know isn't normal. They're all dressed like images you've seen on packaging that's been thrown away at the dump. If you could read, you'd notice that they're dressed with things like SpongeBob SquarePants and Batman and Superman. And they're, it is a dress party. It's a, it's a kid's birthday party, full dress party. So all the kids are in costume. Is, is what you and I would say. This is what your goblins experience as they walk in the door. <laughs> and all the big all the big bellowers are also dressed. Like there's there's one that's dressed like, uh, you know, they've got a top hat and a watch and they look very fancy. There's another one that a snicklet would have loved because they're kind of dressed like a knight probably looks like that. But there is one uh, that you want, that you notice sitting up at the bar itself, there is a wizard, complete with long pointy hat and clearly fake long beard. They're sitting at the table looking down, reading something. But it's not, like, it's weird because all they, every once in a while they just reach down and do that across it, and then they keep reading. And they do that, and they keep reading. I think... Okay that uh cringe's knowledge of books yep. kind of just amounts yep. to anything yep. with words on it a wizard's reading it that's that's a wizard's book right yeah so um uh cringe would like uh cringe will direct the legs uh will direct grottle yep. to um go over to the actual bar. Yep. Grottle? Grottle There's, yep. is the legs, and she's going to try and put her hands through the yep. arm sleeves. Absolutely. So Either one of you can try and be... Yep, so you're going to try and do that? I'm, yep. I'm trying to do the arm sleeves, and I'm going to definitely go to the bar. To the bar itself? Yeah, not necessarily the towards this. Itself, yeah, not necessarily I'm, towards the wizard? Yeah. Not necessarily towards the wizard, but the yeah. bar. <laughs> yeah. And I'm looking for the person behind the bar. Absolutely. Uh, so you give me a legs roll. How difficult do I make this? I mean, you guys are, because this is not supposed to happen. You're not supposed to split the party, uh, but we did. So I'm going to have the two of you together, even though you're in two different places, are going to be accomplishing one goal and the difficulty okay. is going to be five. So uh, you get to the bar and slam up against the bar and crunch. You look over and luckily it's a one shot. The wizard is right there. <laughs> and you're kind of got your hands on the edge of the bar. So you, you know, you could kind of... <laughs> But they're they're reading they're definitely reading. You look over, there's words on it. You can't read the words, but you know that there's words in books and there's words all over this thing. But it's a <laughs> flat, shiny it almost looks like a plate, but there's words on it, and every time he rubs his finger on it, the words change. Cringe is there convinced is a, this is the highest form of magic. Well, there is a small word at the top that you do recognize because it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere. The very top. In small letters, it says MacBook. <laughs> so you. <laughs> 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 it's, it is technically <laughs> the, the MacBook of a wizard. There you go. You got um, your wizard book. <laughs> beside it, there is two empty pints and one about half full. Um, Goblins, no drink. Well, no, you don't. Pardon me, I take that back. Specifically, you don't know. But yes. Um, uh, let's see. Cringe. I'm waving my hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're trying to get a drink. Well, well okay, well, let's give, uh, let's give Wayward a minute to think about how she's going to steal that book. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> underneath you, while you're concentrating, all of a sudden the legs start to go, whoa, and his hand comes up and just starts reaching. Uh, you're just, what are you trying to do? Just grab something off the bar? Uh, I am actually trying to get the bartender's attention. I'm waving okay, my hand. Okay, yep. 
<laughs> yep, give me a, give me your uh, arms roll. So roll your arms twice, and we take the lower one. Dad, no need to roll. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I so yeah. smack my hands. <laughs> you get, get your arm. You can't get your arms out of the sleeves because she's using them, trying to get, <laughs> trying to hold onto the counters. Like you guys got two arms and you're pulling up and down. Uh, We're fighting. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, out amongst the gigglers, it's like high noon. That was done so poorly, there's no way they can sue me for copyright infringement. <laughs> tell me, tell me, Snicklet, how this plays out. You know what you're looking at. I mean, Phil knows what you're looking at. Yeah. Right? It's a big plastic knight standing on a mini golf course. So Snicklet, Snicklet however, stands like a perfect like 10 feet from him. Yeah. Unsheaths his golf club. Yeah. Waits for him to do the same. Waits some more. <laughs> yeah. And then seeing that he's not doing anything, he's going to bum rush him and try to go forward. <laughs> Give me an arms. This is an attack. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roll me a, a do the dice fall. I should never mind. You guys are apart. There's no point in rolling We're this. Apart, There's absolutely yeah. no reason to roll this at all. You step up and just let loose with a hellacious blow. You all that you got wound up like a top before. This is just unwinding that. <laughs> you just <laughs> zing like the Tasmanian devil into this thing. And pieces of plastic just shatter off, but they're flying across the room. They're getting caught in the laser light. The strobe light gets one piece as it goes past this kid's face. <laughs> and there's a word in human that you do know because the kid just goes cool and you just look around you and there's all these gigglers looking at you they're like they're, they're forming a circle around you like you're winning this fight okay does he look does he look defeated or is he gonna go back for round two you know this is the worst thing you have taken off his entire left leg and he's not even flinching Standing there on one leg with his sword out like that. He hasn't even drawn it yet, the ignorant prick. That's it. I thought maybe the legs would topple him. But yep. clearly, this is a matter for going for his head. Yep. He's going so down one way It's way up there. How are you getting up there? Um, I'm going to use my golf club as like a makeshift ladder. Yeah. As in, like, I'm just going <laughs> to place it on the ground, lean it up against his armor, and then climb up it. Yep. And get on his hip, pick up the golf club, and head for the swing for the fences. Swing for those fences for me, please. Oh my god. Oh. oh. Uh, four or higher is a success. I had to check. That's how close that was. <laughs> you right in the visor, and the whole visor just caves in, and you kind of slip, and you are now hanging from the handle of the golf club because the head of it is in through where his visor used to be, and the whole face is shattered. And there's a chant going around you. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Invigorated by all of these gigglers. Yeah. Powering me on. I'm going to jump off and yeah. do a kick right in the nuts. <laughs> Barefoot. Give me the shot. Oh, that's a legs. Oh, that's oh hang legs. on. So give me, no, give me that roll legs twice. You said it. You did this to yourself. I did say it. Legs twice. You get all ahead of yourself. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, the second, the second one, one was a two. You whoosh, whoosh, hi boom, and you feel your toes come disconnected from the rest of your foot. It's like all the bones break in your foot. Just oh, 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 right in the cup. You kicked him right in the cup. What were you thinking? No. Back it, you drop to the ground. Ah, back inside. Ah. There are. What are you guys doing? The wizard. Let's go. Let's go to the. Uh, let's start with the head. Um, <laughs> you guys are supposed to be apart. What happened? I've lost control. <laughs> Cringe, I, what happens? I am going to. Uh, I'm going to have three goblins going... and no trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Two in a trench coat. <laughs> so far, so far. What happens now? Crinch is going to um take the trench coat and yep. throw it over the wizard. 
Okay. Yep. That's an arm sting. Give me an arm sting. That's arms twice, and yep. No. Oh, okay. Nope. Okay. Didn't you uh, you jump up onto the desk, grab the uh, the trench coat, and go to you're like it's going to be great, right? You're just going to pull it off your head and just hurl it over this thing like a bag. Unfortunately, you're standing on it, so you go <laughs> and throw yourself face first on the bar. So you're now buried in the coat on the bar, drinks everywhere. Uh, Grottle, you are completely exposed. You are a goblin standing on the bottoms, like on, I, I'm assuming it's like a bar stool, so you're standing on the, the, the ring where you put your feet, all by yourself now. There's no coat over you or nothing. <laughs> uh, I am going to crawl up in the trench coat and pull it back down. <laughs> yep. Uh, as you well, here's the thing. You this is your plan, and you head up into the trench coat. Uh, just as you get, as you start to pull yourself into the trench coat, you look up, and in the all the mayhem on the bar, there's one drink that didn't get knocked over. The glass yeah. is about this tall. It's got a fancy bottom, and it goes up, and it's got the big V. There's stuff floating in it. There's fruit. There's ice. There's a little straw. There's an umbrella. I'm going to grab it. <laughs> <laughs> so you are completely distracted and grab the drink, and you wrap your lips drink. around the straw, and you get brain freeze and drunk all at the same time. <laughs> meanwhile mayhem under the coat you are under the coat looking out <laughs> through the sleeve and you can see the wizard didn't even blink he just and he reaches over to grab his beer there's a moment he's looking up drinking his um, beer I'm going to um, grab uh, one hand grab the macbook uh, or the magic book, as I call it. Yep. yep. And um, uh, other hand, steal the beard. Steal the beard? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Give me a hands twice, arms twice. Sorry. That's good. That's good enough. Yes. That is finally your fourth success between the three of you. You, because of that, <laughs> leap forward you pull on the beard thinking i'll steal the beard just as he's leaning forward and his you pull it and it's around his ears and it just pulls him face down into the edge of the bar and you just forehead him just thung the beard comes <laughs> off the ears and he just slides down the bar and you have the beard in one hand you reach over grab the macbook in the other hand turn around the trench coat's right there I, I sort of... And I'm kind of toasty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and halfway <laughs> out of the trench coat. Hey! <laughs> somewhere, somewhere, she's found a hat that's got fruit on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm here! I'd like, to, um, I'd like to wear the beard. Yep. <laughs> yep. And um, I guess I will... Um, I'll stow the MacBook... Yep. Somewhere. In, the, in the trench coat. Yeah, there's pockets. In the yes, in the trench Absolutely. coat. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so you back into the trench coat, shove that in an inside pocket, shove the feet back down off the bar. She takes the drink with her. Woohoo! <laughs> She's down back down to where the legs go. Back out yeah. in the Let's mini party. golf. <laughs> you, you start to hear it. It's awful. Loser. Loser. There's more and more of them chanting it. You're on the ground. Your foot is broken. It's throbbing in pain right beside you. Your weapon of choice. You look up. His face is shattered. His leg is missing, but he's still up, the bastard. What are you going to do? Summoning all the strength that Sniglet has. Yep. Can I you go you for stand one? up. You hear the bones in your foot. <laughs> As you put weight on it, the vision comes down. <laughs> I'm gonna use seeing as how the foot's like in pain, but all oh, it's starting to get numb almost. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna use yep. the shock foot is as kicking a weapon in. again, but I'm gonna use yep. my hand to yep. guide my foot and go <laughs> for his other beat leg. Beat him with your leg, <laughs> yes, it's already broken. For... Just no, no, no. <laughs> you can't make it more. 
<laughs> this, this is how you get to use your arms roll. I see what you're doing here. All right, roll me in arms as you to beat get him with leg. your broken leg. Come on. Yes. yes. The first six or seven impacts, it feels like it's not going to work, and the leg's getting all noodly because it's not just the toes that are broken out. It's shattered all the way up to the knee, and you're just... <laughs> But finally, you hit the right spot, and a crack appears at the heel. And you watch it go, and the whole thing starts to tilt. And you just drive the club in and crank over like it's everything you've got. You just fall backwards and let your weight do the work. And the whole edifice comes crashing down. <laughs> Pieces of plastic everywhere. The laser's still going, the music's still pounding, and you hear, you're just like, yes, yes, legend, 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 and then in the middle of that, you hear, oh shit, run, management, and they all just, poof, they're all gone, and you're standing all by yourself in the middle of the mayhem. I'm going to, before, I'm going to sprint to the bar, but before I do, I'm going to leave the golf club on the ground. Ground as like a tribute, <laughs> as a tribute to Dude. honor the warrior that I fought. When he went over, his sword is still standing there. So you just sort of lean your golf club up against the sword and walk away. Yeah, limp away, hop away. Limp, yeah, hop. Yeah. At this point, you're hop hopping. You leg. can't. You can't put any weight on that leg at all. <laughs> and go and you hop bar. back into the bar, and you see the trench coat all the slump on the bar. The <laughs> lower part of the trench coat is singing. <laughs> oh, la, la, la. <laughs> okay. That wasn't supposed to happen like that. I love it. Okay. I love the yeah, the go kart track wasn't supposed to happen like that. This wasn't supposed to. Happen. I love. Oh, let's go. All right, some more, some more, some more. Let's go. Um, we don't need to take a break. <laughs> We've only been at this a little over an hour. Wow. So I encourage Nicklet up onto my shoulders. <laughs> yes, you guys are, however, in um, uh, and I hand in my the drink. presence of humans. <laughs> so you're also all impaired and distracted and stuff. So I need you guys to roll to see what order you actually crawl back into the trench coat. Ah. So everybody, roll me a d six. Is that a four, a five, and a two? Is that what I saw there? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Snicket, you're the head. Okay. Uh, Crinch, you're the body. And luckily, the drunk one gets to still be the, uh, still gets to be the feet. <laughs> I don't know if that's lucky. It was lucky hey, for I me. I handed him my drink. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And just for anybody who was watching that hasn't figured it out, all three of them have now accomplished their secret missions. <laughs> so with that, let's end it. I know this isn't going to be a really long night, but this has been intense. Uh, um, you guys, the, 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 the uproar behind you drops management is closed all the lights are turned off out there now they have closed the underground mini golf they have chased all the gigglers off the property that's who's being blamed for this is all these idiotic teenagers they went nuts and broke the place especially because they also smelt alcohol so there must have been that's probably what it was was drunk teenagers so you guys wait till that blows over and you head back upstairs because you know that's where you have to go they this is the dungeon and he's not down here so he must be in jail upstairs so, uh, oops, flinging stuff and reading chat at the same time. Uh, yes, secret missions, Karis. They each had a secret mission that none of them knew about. Uh, one of them had to get a drink in the bar. One of them had to steal a book from a wizard. And one of them had to fight a knight. <laughs> so they all got what they wanted. Uh, and I split the party in three goblins in a trench coat. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you guys get back together in the wrong order, but you don't have a chance to get done because there's so much fuss and bother going on with all the drama. There's a screen, there's a beat up child outside. There's an ambulance in the lot because there's a you know beat up little kid out there that the other kids beat up with golf clubs and 
Uh, there's a guy reporting a theft of his, yeah, there's a guy reporting a theft of a laptop in the bar. You know, it's, it's mayhem everywhere. You guys make your way up to the fir- the main floor. This is the first time you've ever been here because you came in through the basement, shall we say. <laughs> this room is full of big, shiny, flashing boxes with little screamers and big bellowers standing in front of them, moving sticks and beating on buttons and yelling at them. Game room. <laughs> it is. It's a huge arcade. Uh, who's on the head right now? Snicklet, give me a your head roll. Okay. And uh, Crinch, if you'd like to try, you can do your head roll twice and pick the lower of the two. Because he failed. <laughs> That's a good one. No. That is not a good one. Ooh. No. Okay. So, yeah, you guys... Uh, Continue to, uh, this is what you see in front of you, and you sort of step out into this. Uh, you have to keep, uh, who's in the middle? Crinch, you have to keep reaching down and putting your hand over Grottle's mouth because she insists on singing. <laughs> At some point, I just like... You're also dancing now. Not well, but you are dancing. And hey. At some point, I take my foot and like hook it under her jaw and just close her mouth. <laughs> But you're a goblin, so it's there. It kind of sounds like bad gas, but. (laughs) Party after we get Prince. So you guys step out into the arcade, and there's little kids, and they're bumping into you and knocking you around and everything else. But you make your way forward. The top two, again, give me another head check. This is just to find the guy. Five. That, you found. Okay. A six and a four. You both found. Ooh. Okay. I'll give you both things on this. Because this is going to go all the way up to there. Oh. Okay. You guys look across the arcade, and there's a whole row of these machines against the walls. There's the big claw machine where you got to grab the, you know, grab the teddy bears and drop it in with the claw. <gasps> then there's the one that's got the, it's just a, a wall of lights, and you have to hit the, the little blue bar goes back and forth, and you have to hit the button and stop it, one on top of the other. There's one of those. And inside that, hanging on one of the hooks, is your prince. He's in perfect T-pose, like this. And you realize immediately what's happened. He has been trapped by... The way everybody knows you can trap goblins is by putting a red kerchief around their necks. They immediately go into the T-pose and paralyze. So he's a prize in this game. And you guys are going to have to win him to finish this Challenge. Who is good right. and I coordination? And you are Love in me. the wrong I'm you are in the wrong <laughs> spots. I'm good at hand coordination. Yep. So you guys can try and reform here and see if anybody catches you. Or you can try this the way you are now. You need six more successes. Every one of those is going to have an increasing chance of failure. Oh, one more thing. You don't have any tokens. Ah, And it takes tokens tokens to play this game. Uh, You can get them at the counter, but you need money for that. You don't have any of that either. Do I see any humans? Yeah, do there's see... humans everywhere that have got their token piles and places and everything else. So yeah, I'll there's plenty of them around. Here. Yeah, I'll look for the biggest pile. Okay. Yeah. Walk me to them. Yeah. So you walk over there, uh, Snicklet. You are the head. You see them, so that's not an issue. Uh, you walk over. Are you... who's going to try and steal these? Is it Snicklet or Crinch? Because Crinch would roll one die. But uh, Snicklet would roll two, but have to take the lower one. But he'd be rolling d10s. Or you could both try one down each arm. See what happens. I will try. I would also try one down each arm. That's a fail. (laughs) Oh, that's a fail. All right. That's a good start. And then the one. Okay. Uh, So (laughs) you're uh, (laughs) on one side, this, this hand sort of sneaks out 
from the uh, the sleeve of the jacket and starts like doing the spider walk across the counter towards the chips. And the guy doesn't even look. He just bang with his fist on the top of your hand. <laughs> and without realizing what happened, Snicklet immediately, his hand starts to creep out towards the same pile. And the guy just bang! Idiot! <laughs> you guys move off. <laughs> to try and find somebody else to pick on. He hears a hiss from the middle of the coat. Yeah. <laughs> how about how about this time a kid? We'll steal from a kid because that worked so well okay. last time. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right, Same so thing. I you guys both gonna try again? Kids. Yeah. <laughs> They're a little bit more stupid. <laughs> about a one. <laughs> so yeah, both you both trying again? Same thing. Okay. That's a four. A so it was four a four and a six. six and a seven. Both of you. So like one out of each arm this time just whoosh, whoosh, and you kind of look down and up at each other and say, yeah. Um <laughs> Crinch, you got one more. You got seven tokens. Um uh Snicklet got six. So you guys head back over with no further ado to the stacking machine. Are you going to try and reform on the way there? It I would mean that. giving up your two successes and starting over, because you'd have to leave the room, reform, and come back in. You've got this. You sure? You can't <laughs> both play. Okay, one of you gotta decide, because mm -hmm. I'm not the best with arms. You I'm weren't to start best. with, and now you're impaired, yeah. I'm going to make a now star I pattern. Like, watch this. Eee! Watch this. I make a star. <laughs> <laughs> so, you stumble up to the machine. Am I taking us to a bathroom break for reforming, or am I. Oh, that's, us that to works. Machine? Well, um, Crinch is going to strongly suggest that we reform. <laughs> Okay. I guess we All should right, go so I'm somewhere taking us to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, Snicklet. They take you to the ladies. What? I'm not supposed Sorry. to be here. Well, they're in charge, right? So, yeah, they're in charge of the legs and the head. So, yeah, you uh, you walk through the door and you see that symbol on the door. It's like, oh, oh. But you guys get inside, you find a stall, and you get reorganized and come back out. It's a good idea, actually. There's not as many stalls in the men's, to be terribly honest with you. Um, so, with that, you are now back where you should be. Uh, Crinch is in the head, Snicklet is in the arms, Grottle is in the legs. Grottle, start us off. Walk us back in your impaired position. Uh, you still just roll your die. Uh, and get us back to the machine without running into children. You do so. Um, you... Uh, the, one of them Very almost walks in. Kind of yes, you're flowing. <laughs> one of them almost runs into you. You kind of open up the curtain and go, <sighs> and the smell of your alcohol, fruit laden breath just drives the little bugger away. <laughs> <laughs> Next, as you step up, uh, Crinch, uh, give me a uh, give me a look at this machine. Just give me a, a head. That works. Um, there's, they're playing dirty pool on this one. You notice as you step up, somebody has slid like a matchbook cover underneath the button so that it doesn't always connect. Um, I say, Crinch says, um, uh, humans cheat. <laughs> and once you see it, she that's easy. Yeah, give me a roll, uh, an arms roll, Snicklet. This will give you a nice bonus. I didn't make you roll on the five percent. That's not right. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so you grab the you grab it and pull, and it just breaks off inside the button. So now it's like jammed in there. Uh, fixed. <laughs> Try and fix it. Yeah, give me a roll. Why yeah, not? Yeah, that's. 
<laughs> we can't we can't just say well that that failed you guys go home you miss uh you lose the yeah some kid gets your your prince until the kerchief wears out and then he escapes one night on his own but yeah give me another roll snicklet well, the kid tries to play that's better <laughs> so you get in there um you think about you know Oh, I know exactly what you do. You need something small and pointy and sharp to get in there, and you haven't really got anything. You look down, and there's like a, a, a shrapnel bit of bone sticking out of your foot. Oh, like, oh that'll work. Yank. Get in there and pull that. <laughs> You're I completely was numb now. A little swizzle stick in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you use the piece of your own bone to pull that piece of cardboard out of the way. Roll me a fun. does it fall. No, it does not. Okay, yeah. you awesome. are four. The, there's, there's usually what, like nine rows on one of those. So I'm going to give you the first five. They're easy because they're only three wide, right? Those are easy ones. Boom, 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 boom. You're now they're starting to really move and they're only one wide and you need to stack four of them on top of each other to get through this. If the other two, the legs or the head, can think of any way you might help him, let me know. But first, we're going to do his first roll. While well, you guys think. All right, I'm Your here. hand comes out and you peek it through and you see the little blue light going. Then you smack the button. Second token. <laughs> You've got 13 of them. Um, I, uh, Crinch yep. would like to. Um use her superior reaction speed <laughs> from her first vision <laughs> yeah. to yeah. Um, give uh, uh, Snicklet's arm a little nudge when it's the right time. Yeah, okay, sure, yep. So we will... I'll hold really still. <laughs> okay, so we will give you... Uh, normally the difficulty is four... Um, but how about, let's do it this way. That's what you guys intend to do. If you can roll me, if you can each roll me a success at what you do, we'll give him minus one difficulty for each success. Let's just, let's just make up rules as we go along. That's not a success. We don't have to worry about it. Uh, that is a success. I'm too wobbly uh, still. So yeah, Sorry. you're still, you, I got this. We're really still, really still. <laughs> so wobbling around. Really? Uh, cringe, cringe on the other hand. You can you can see um you can see inside the machine like down at the bottom so you got a better angle on it than he does so you will definitely give him a, uh, an advantage so he only needs three or better. Just go ahead. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chest I'm gonna chest cringe. Yeah. Close my Close eyes. Your eyes. Press the button. Yep. Oh, <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Sorry, that's, I wobble that's, this. That's two credits. <laughs> Ugh, Ingo All right. token. Yeah, both, right. you, both you guys again. To stand still. <laughs> yeah, give me a standing still. Brace, brace, brace. Yes, there's a minus yeah. one. So that's a three already. And I'm going to help him. Uh, you are yeah. also, so yeah, you guys, you guys are good. So a two or better. Come hey. on. Got Come on. A three. Oh, oh my God. Does it fall? Thirty-five percent or less. <laughs> do I have to rule this? Yes, you do. This is the whole point of the game. Fuck. I made you swear. We're winning. Ninety-six. You're still good. Okay. Let's do it again. Stable. Stable. Ugh. Stable. Five. Okay. Peering. No. <laughs> Three or better. Do this. I can do this. It's a D10. It is. <laughs> Three tokens. <laughs> Ten tokens left. All right. Okay. Next token. We need to roll to see if we knock everything down. <laughs> Only on a success. This wasn't a success. So you know. What? All right. Without their help, I'm just gonna press it randomly. See if I get. No. Okay. Five. Yeah. You, you. I will stand still. Bang! You just hit the button. What do you get? An eight. There you go. Do they <laughs> fall? Fifty percent chance. Do they fall? <sighs> they fall. 
you fall, everybody falls. The kids that are around you are like, oh, that close, dude, that close. And you can't quite, I mean, you can tell what they mean, right? You can't quite hear them. It's like downstairs, right? One of the, one of the gigglers from downstairs, one of the big ones, walks up to the three of you goblins laying on the floor in goblin form. The place has gone silent except for the game noise. Everybody's staring at you. And one of the big gigglers from downstairs walks up to you, Snicklet, and hands you your golf club. <laughs> and looks at the machine. Says, do it, dude. Just <laughs> do it. I'm going to look like I'm aiming for the button. Yeah. Go for a swing and try to yeah. break the glass. I want all three of you to roll here because I want this to be a communal event. So all three of you roll and I'll figure out exactly how that works. <laughs> uh, arms or legs? Or uh, roll or your legs? thing. Roll your thing. My roll your thing. d10. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was almost three sevens. That's okay. <laughs> the seven and the seven. Well, this is we have we have precedent. So you um you uh grottle, you give him a boost. Like you see him swinging and you just reach down and grab his foot and just throw him up in the air. Uh Snicklet uh or sorry, uh Crinch, you see that he's starting to rotate and he's still got his eyes closed because he's like he's trusting the force. You know uh, the goblins don't have the force, but he's like <laughs> he's still got his eyes closed and he's starting to rotate. So you just reach up and slap his foot and straighten him out. Crinch or uh Snicklet, it's not your best effort. It goes through the glass, but it's like that shot that you put in his head, you're just hanging there now. In the glass, like from the thing. And you feel behind you the big giggler reaches up and just grabs your legs and you're like what the what the hell what the hell and he just pulls down and you just grab on with all you got and the glass starts to smash just right down the middle and you get to the bottom and he puts you on the ground and the glass just and he looks down at you and says which one do you want little buddy i'll just immediately point to the goblin and he reaches up and grabs him and brings him down and hands him to you. And he's the same size as you. I mean, it's your prince. And he's got the red kerchief trapped around his neck. Rip that I'll, off. I'll bend the knee. <laughs> yeah. I'll pay my respects to the prince. Okay. Are you taking the bandana off? I'll leave it to Grotto or Crinch. Okay. Crinch will do uh, it. I'm going to take the bandana okay. off of him. <laughs> As you've Crinch, taken, Crinch goes yeah. for it at the same time. <laughs> yeah, you guys get in there. So, uh, Snick, you take you take a knee and and show this great respect. And the the teenager looks. He's, dude, it's like a stuffy. And then the two of them reach in and undo the knot, and the kerchief falls from its neck, and you hear a stuffy. Fuck you, punk! And he just climbs up and rips his throat out. Just. <laughs> Jumps out on the ground. I hate humans. Let's get the hell out of here. Run! And you guys bolt out the front <laughs> doors across the go kart track where mayhem reigns. The fence is pulled down. There's cars crashed. They're going both directions because you guys did it. So why not? Into the outdoor <laughs> mini golf where there's a beaten child being put on a stretcher by ambulance attendants. There is a small fire in another area. You look back the window where the bar is. You can see flickering red flames inside the bar. There's a fire in there now. Somebody's MacBook charger got left plugged in and it started a fire. Uh, <laughs> and you guys and your prince go through the gates and up into the dusty, normal hills of home. Oh, yes. Yeah. Finally. And oh. <laughs> thus ends the adventure of three goblins in a trench coat. That was an hour and a half. That's all that was. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you so much. That was oh, a that was blast. Great. I had such you, a Kevin. good time doing that. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> this is fun. I love this game. Oh, wow. 
So that was Grant Howitt's game, Three Goblins in a Trench Coat, played in a way you're probably not supposed to play it because you're probably supposed to stay in the trench coat, and I don't care. This... <laughs> it was more fun the way we did oh, it. was oh, always, yes. always. These are fun shots. This is all about, like, forget the logic, forget the rules. Let's show up and be silly, and let's have a good time. And on that note, I do have to get serious for about 60 seconds here because I want to uh, go around the room here. Uh, actually, I don't know. Do any of the three of you stream or have social media presences or yep. do anything else? Oh, somebody down yep. there is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait have, what do you do? Yeah. I have, okay, I have a couple things first. Um, first, I uh, blog on the Scar Adventurer blog. Yes, um, yes. I'm a resident artist and art-related blogger. <laughs> yeah, yep. <laughs> you can find you, uh, stuff you, there. You got to work on this picture a little bit. I'm not going to lie. This <laughs> what? So you need to work on your pitch just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So they can find you at Scar Adventure or where else? Yeah. Uh, you can also find my art and support me uh, at Wayward Night on Redbubble. It's, That's the I one. I think it's spelled the same way. Um, also, I am starting a D and D campaign actual play podcast. Oh, nice! Uh, excellent, excellent. Yes, it's T minus two weeks incoming. Excellent. And so your attention called... level is just. <laughs> Yeah. We are called Professional Questers. Excellent. And you can, I love it. Um, you can find our Twitter at yep. Profesh Questers on Twitter. All right. Excellent. And uh, perfect. Um, thank you for that. Phil, I want to mention you because uh, you're in one of my games, but you just did a thing just recently that made me really, really proud. You started your own game. You started DMing for a bunch of your friends. I have. How's that going? Uh, it's going great. Uh, I didn't think I would be able to, but it's surprising. As long as you go in with a group of friends and yes. people who like know you, uh, starting to DM is actually really satisfying. And yeah. uh, if they don't know the rules, you can make stuff up. And they yes. go along with it. Yes. So if anyone even, hasn't, even if they do know the rules, here's the big secret. Even if they do know the rules and they go, hey, me, me, you go, homebrew. You win. Exactly. So if anyone You're behind the screen, you DMing, win. That's yeah. are God. <laughs> I, would, yeah. I would say pick it up, guys. It's really yes. it's yes. really satisfying. Five you don't have to do it like weekly. Designed. Yeah. I Five do it like designed to be easy. So yeah. So every two I'm weeks. DMing the podcast, yeah. So I'm every two weeks excited. you're DMing every oh be wonderful. Uh, <laughs> and Leah, I know you're in a game too with another friend of ours uh, from this yes. channel and elsewhere. Uh, you game with Karis, right? Yes, I do on uh, um, Saturdays. Oh, wonderful! So, and uh, do you mind sharing what character you're playing, and what just right happened now, to me? Because this is cool. <laughs> this is a really cool story. I like this. This doesn't happen to every character. <laughs> right now, I am doing a forge cleric, and unfortunately, my cleric is getting ready to get retired because there's no magical weapons or anything in the world, and I'm going to be making them all. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so my, you, you're really... my character is getting kind of side noted <laughs> and it's sort of NPC. That's a really unique and interesting thing. I like that a lot. And I am also been reminded by Karis herself in chat. You are also the cartographer for the group. Yes, I am. I make maker. a lot of maps. Oh, yes. I, I wish I had more of those in my games because uh, I always end up having to keep my own maps and it's just, a, it's yeah, I need somebody like you in one of my games. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> With that, I want to go around again and do my thank yous like I always do. I got five tonight. Uh, thank you, Phil, for coming and playing with us. I had a great time tonight. I enjoyed that a lot. Thank you, Wayward. I had a blast as always. Good time. A special thank you to Leah, again, the bravest person in the room, never met us, never played this game, never Zoomed, never streamed. You came out here, you nailed it, you knocked it out of the park, and you're the only one that got drunk, which is a soft spot for me. So that's uh, uh, that makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> 
the fourth thank you is for the people on Twitch watching us live. I appreciate the heck out of that. And then the fifth and grottle on the throttle. And then the fifth uh, is for all the people in the future that watch this on YouTube, because honestly, that's where we get most of our watch. So this will be up there in a couple of days. Oh, I had a good time. We will see you guys next week. Oh, I don't have my book. What am I doing next week? Anybody remember? Uh, oh, I think um, next week is Force Patrollers, isn't it? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and thank even even from chat, she got me. Uh, she posted my my stuff uh, in chat because I forgot to talk about it again. Uh, I am part of the Mercs of Mischief Sundays and Mondays. Um, over there, we're kind of on a summer break right now. There's still stuff on Sundays and Mondays. It's just not our regularly scheduled programming. Speaking of which, I've got a uh, two shot coming up on the 21st and the 28th of this month over there on Sundays. Uh, that is a game system of my own invention called Balance and a game of my own homebrew creation where the party members are going to be time traveling detectives. So that one's going to be interesting, fun to run. Thursday is here for very intense uh, Iron Sworn, uh, and then uh, Friday, next Friday, for the next fun shot. Uh, I believe, yeah, according to chat, I think it's Force Patrollers. We've yes. got Bison, Roosbar, and Scarred Adventurer so far, so there's still some space in there. Uh, we'll figure that out by next week. I never have any problem getting volunteers. <laughs> and speaking of which, anybody who is in chat or who sees this and wants to uh, play along, um, just get a hold of us. Uh, you can get a hold of me over at the Mercs of Mischief uh, channel. Just PM me and we will get you in here as quick as we can. Uh, other than that, thank you, Leah. Thank you, Wayward. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, audience. Oh, that was a good time. Good night, everybody. Night. Bye. Good night.